Culture is an essential part of uh, our lives. It's an essential part of the quality of our lives, of well-being. Benezere, <laughs> as they say here in Beniz. La cultura è un aggregatore di tanti elementi che vanno a portare soprattutto un contributo in termini economici, in termini sociali e quindi la cultura, accompagnata anche dalla creatività, può essere un elemento fondante dello sviluppo locale. Culture can be on the one hand a tool to foster uh, inclusiveness, to foster tolerance, to foster diversity through the enjoyment of art and culture, but at the same time it can also be an investment in people to develop their full potential. Culture can drive uh, local development through the incredible, unabashed, imaginative power of creative artists. It is not only the glue, it's the catalyst and the driver. The most important thing is to be able to ensure that the local community benefits, not just the visitors. In the transport company I work for, I look after the, um, the technical side of the company and we, yeah, we also do a, bit, a little bit of construction, so anything that needs to be done. And um, occasionally we work in the Opera House and we um, move a lot of the scenery and the instruments, so we get to see uh, a lot of stuff that uh, not many people get to see. I'm Sara, I was born and raised in Venice. I'm Veneziana. I work as a photographer. It's a beautiful city where you can take pictures because you have uh, a lot of museums, uh, a lot of beautiful buildings, a lot of history, you are surrounded by history. The museum is worth it. Culture can drive the local development by creating jobs, generating income, not only in the museum, but in other sectors too. The museums can contribute to the regeneration of an urban area. Digital can be very useful in telling to the citizens of the world what is this local culture about. And it will be, of course, telling about the museum, will be telling about the beautiful paintings, but we'll be also talking about the local traditions of that culture. Digital can help the local to be global and the global to get to the local. M9 is a digital museum on the history of the 20th century through the changes of the daily life of millions of people. We are a multimedia museum, so we don't have objects. You have to interact with the museum. So this is changing, uh, basically, radically, the approach between museum and visitors. Policymakers need to think about the meaning and value of public spaces in a digital world. If we don't create institutions that reflect a digital age, as I think M9 brilliantly does, there's a risk that the institutions get left behind. International organisations have to take into account what's the local context, what's working in the local context, what are the support structures that exist in the local context, and how can we support those local support structures to support their communities. In order to promote culture, you need to have the right skills and you have to have the right business uh, infrastructure. Culture is also a lot about inbreeding, about connections, uh, about synergy. So you need to create these platforms in order for people to meet. This is why they're called public goods, because they satisfy a need, a craving, a legitimate desire for something beyond our trials and tribulations of every day, our natural need for beauty. Thank you for watching this OECD video. At the OECD Centre for Entrepreneurship, SMEs, Regions and Cities, 
We provide policymakers with data-rich evidence and advice. Our work allows them to take full advantage of the opportunities that cultural and creative industries bring to local economies. To find out more about our work, please visit our website.